Oh my god, I hate packing it. I kind of look like a turtle. You guys are probably wondering why she's using two different rackets. You guys might think this is really weird. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's gonna be like... Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I'm looking really rough right now, but that's because I slept at 4 a.m. I literally just came back from Mexico like two days ago and I'm flying again today. I think I have to leave to the airport in like three-ish hours and I haven't began packing at all. So that's great. In this video, I thought I'd do a little pack with me to Suderman Cup. You guys always ask me like how I prepare for my tournaments, how do I pack, what's in my bag, so I guess this video will have all of that information included. My room is so messy. This is all the laundry I just finished washing and now I need to repack all of it because I'm leaving again. I really don't want to fly and travel again, guys. I feel like I've literally been away from home for so long. This year, I swear, I've only been home for less than three weeks. Isn't that crazy? Also, it's always more difficult to pack for longer trips and this time after student cup i was gonna play thailand open but i withdrew because i feel like i need some time to train i'm thinking of either going to malaysia to train again or hong kong but it's not confirmed yet because i'm waiting for the coaches to get back to me it's actually really soon and i still haven't heard back yet so i'm kind of anxious but after training in either Malaysia or Hong Kong, I think for about two and a half weeks, then I'm going to head to Europe to play the Denmark IC and then the France IC. And then I think I'm coming home and then probably try to qualify for Canada Open and US Open. But yeah, I'm going to be gone for a while if that ends up all happening. So I won't be back until mid-June. And so I hate packing for long trips because I'm scared. If I really do forget something, then I'm going to be without it for a long period of time. Oh my god, I hate packing and I'm such a slow packer too because I can't decide what shirts to Bring, what pants to bring, how many, because I don't want to keep doing laundry all the time. I digress. Let's get started. I'm going to pack all my clothes first and then I guess I'll go from there. I almost finished packing all of my Batman shirts, but then I realized I didn't show you guys my Suderman Cup gear yet. So let me show you that really quickly. First thing we got, a bag. New Batman bag, it's so exciting. Look at it, it's so cool. There's straps on the back so you can wear it like a backpack. I kind of look like a turtle, but I'm not gonna carry it like that. There are also straps so you can carry it like, you know, a normal tournament bag. But I feel like this tournament bag is so big compared to the other ones. Or maybe I'm tripping, but it's so dope. It's blue and gray, and there's a Canadian flag embroidered, so it's special. There's like a little secret pocket here where you can put important things. Ooh, there's another secret pocket right here. Has a zipper. And you can put small things here like your phone, wallet. There are two big compartments. This is one of them. And there's a divider thing. You know what I'm talking about? So you can like undo this Velcro and then stick it on the side and then you'll have two sections in your bag to organize your stuff. There's also a little like pouch here where you can put smaller things so they don't get lost in your bag. This side I'm assuming is the racket side. So yeah, you can put all your rackets here. I feel like the bag looks huge. And then got shirts and shorts. I showed you guys these in my yarn haul already. It's like the exact same shirts, but I'll show them really quickly in this video if you didn't watch my previous video. So we got two different shirts, I think two of each color. So we got a red shirt. The red shirt looks like this. The only difference between these shirts and the shirts in my other Yonix haul is that these are printed. So this says my name on it, Canada. And this one also has a Canadian flag. So I got two of the red shirts. And then I also got two of the white shirts. I like the white one the most. It's so pretty. So this is what the white one looks like. Again, there's a printing on the back T in Canada. And there's also a Canadian flag. And yeah. For bottoms, we also got two colors. Red one, which looks like this and it comes with separate shorts underneath. And we also got the blue one, navy blue, which looks like this. 
and it also comes with shorts underneath. They are the same models as the one I showed in my previous video. So if you want to see like a try on of these shirts and skirts, then you can go watch that video. I'll link it in the description box below. And last but not least, I got the same track jacket. Um, I showed it in the other vlog as well. It's just green. I don't think it shows as green on the screen, but it's like a dark green. And there's a Canadian flag, Yonix, Yonix on the sleeve. And it says Yonix Canada on the back. Really cool windbreaker material, very breathable, which will be good because China's gonna be hot. The track pants that come with the track jacket, these are black, so we're not gonna be fully wearing green. It'll be green up top, black on the bottom. I kinda like that better because if not, we look like a group of trees. But anyways, these are the same pants that I showed in my other video as well. Pockets, Yonix right here, cuffs on the bottom, and there's a zipper as well. Stretchy waistband, windbreaker material as well, so it's gonna be nice and breathable. So that's all the stuff I got for Suderman. This is all my stuff now that I've kind of categorized into like shirts with my name on it, shirts for training, and then just bottoms. I use these packing squares to pack because I just feel like it makes everything a lot more organized. Now I need to put everything in their respective packets. And Also guys, I forgot to tell you, but usually I write a list, a packing list, before I start packing so then I can just check it off as I go and make sure I don't forget anything. Also, it's really, really satisfying when I get to just like click things and just like check it off and it goes to the bottom of the list, so just added satisfaction to my packing experience, you know? But yeah, let's get back to packing. Oh my god. Oh, I hate packing. Welcome to my bathroom. Look at how good the lighting is in here. Now that I'm done packing all my bathroom stuff, I need to pack my toiletries. So I kind of hate doing this, but it's okay because we can do it together. So usually I fill my stuff in tiny bottles like this because I don't want to take a whole big bottle like this because it's really heavy and most of the time I don't finish using it all anyways so I'm gonna fill these bottles up lunch intermission break went to Deer Garden with my mom for our pre-flight ritual meal which is the Deer Garden Laksa and it was so good I haven't had it in so long but anyways back to packing look at this mess here so this is the luggage I'm gonna take but here is all my stuff and I need to fit it all into this luggage so oh this is gonna be a difficult task <sighs> badminton bag let me rip the tape Ow. Ow. Definitely gotta take my rackets. Oh, my water bottle. Skipping rope. Resistance bands. Longer resistance bands. Shoe bag. Ear pods. Oh. Advil. Lip balm. Wet wipes. Tissue. You guys are probably wondering why. Why does she have sunglasses on her head? I have sunglasses on my head because I need to remember to take these with me. You guys are probably wondering why she's using two different rackets. Well, it's because I switched from the Astrox 77 to the Astrox 88D Pro. But then after I realized I kind of like the Astrox 77 more, so I switched back to the Astrox 77. But unfortunately, Yonix Canada doesn't produce the Astrox 77 anymore. So I only have, I think, three or four more of them left. Usually I use all my Astrox 77s first and then once I break all of them and I have no more left then I use Astrox 88D Pro because I have no choice. I'm gonna bring six rackets total. Rackets, check. Shoes. I think I'm gonna take two pairs of Batman shoes because look, I've been wearing these for a couple months now and they're kind of starting to break here and also the inside is breaking. I don't know if you guys can see that. You guys can't see that but the padding on the inside is also breaking. So I think I'm just gonna wear these until they actually break and then I'm just gonna throw them away. And then I'm gonna take these ones, these new ones with me. I also need to take these two Victor birds because I think this is a tournament shuttle because 
This year's Suderman Cup is sponsored by Victor, not Yonix. And then I have everything else, I think, on my checklist. Let's double check. You guys may think this is really weird, but I take, like, my UV light plus gel nail polish with me to all my tournaments because I always have to make sure my nails are done before I play. I guess it's just a ritual for me. So, yeah, I always take that everywhere I go. I think I got everything I need. I also can't forget to bring some BG80 string because I know for a fact that I'm going to break a lot of strings and also some grip and foam for under my grip. Oh my god, you fit everything in there, yikes. Oh my god, I'm stressed. I literally have like an hour or less than an hour left. And I was gonna shower too before going on flight because we're gonna be flying for so long. So usually when I fly, I don't hand carry my rackets. I don't know if that's bad, but I just put them in here. And usually I try to cushion the bag with a lot of clothes around it so my rackets are protected. Enjoy this satisfying clip you're about to see. I've decided to change my outfit. I'm gonna wear these gray sweats instead. This girl's back from school. I'm gonna try to close my luggage now. I think it's exactly 50 pounds. Should I wear New Balance or Nike Dunks? Nike. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna close my luggage, everybody. Oh, wait. Let's pray that my racket's gonna break it. I cannot close it from this side. Hello? I came for once. We're gonna be late. She's gonna be late. Okay, bye. Hope you guys enjoyed this packing with me. Hope it wasn't too hectic for you guys. See you guys in China.